Uh, I switched point of views, by the way, back to uh, Krypton because I wanted to keep track of what this looks like from his point of view. Uh, you can see he did, in fact, use... Oh, we've got artillery strike him down. He did, in fact, use our off-map reinforcements. Artillery landing on where he thought the uh, the snipers were, of course, uh, and just kind of kind of blow this place apart here. But uh, let's appreciate this graphics a little bit here. Uh, I always love seeing artillery shots go off. That was so cool. So, once again, big hats off to the guy or guys at Relic who... Uh, program that little bit of uh, explosion graphics there because ah, looks so good I do like that anyhow so it looks like for the time being uh, Krypton managed to scare off the snipers that were kind of keeping his infantry from the center uh, boy these infantry are really really having a hard time here just I mean luckily they're able to reinforce still from this uh, forward barracks that forward barracks is a real problem eventually you know I wouldn't mind wow wow just totally getting burned out by the flamethrowers there that is not good at all, dropping their Browning Automatic Rifles. Look at these Vet 3, uh, these freaking Vet, Vet 3 Pioneers here staying in the middle. Absolutely, absolutely just destroying these Riflemen in one-on-one -on -one combat. Not good at all, even though they are kind of surrounded here. Of course, we do have these Bazooka-wielding Engineers. They come in with the off-map reinforcements from the Infantry Commander ability. Uh, but you can see we've got uh, just kind of Panzer Shreks and Browning Automatic Rifles. That's a bazooka, sorry. Just kind of scattered all over the place. And here we have it! Oh, just as I switch away from Pro Pipe, you can see that he saved up enough. He got his uh, he got his heavy armor support on the field now. And now this, this is serious news here. So Pro Pipe, now with control over the center, is just going to sit on top of it with a bunch of Tigers. This is bad, bad news here. Luckily, we do have the Duffy's Anti-Tank Gun. Duffy's Anti-Tank Gun is firing away here. Uh, that at level 5, by the way, does have free armor-piercing rounds, so hopefully he activates that. Looks like getting a few shots off, and that tank is just going to have to back away from there now. But now, okay, yeah, you can see right now he's got the armor-piercing shells activated, uh, but it looks like all of his targets are out of range. Yeah, he's just kind of firing away at random targets at the, in the meantime here. Uh, sniper is still picking away. My god, this central battle right now has really, really changed shape. Just in the last few minutes, uh, after, after that rocket barrage landed, uh, this entire battle changed shape here. So what normally would have been... Wow, oh god, the triple snipers are firing. Look at these guys. Oh my god, look at the rate of fire on them. There's a huge blob of infantry coming in after them. Uh, total reinforced uh, off-map reinforcements. Uh, gonna have to retreat this one sniper for sure. But their rate of fire here is just deadly. Uh, looks like this poor Stug is caught out in the middle here. I'm not sure what's going on with that exactly. We do have a single squad of riflemen now moving in behind, trying to flank. Really, really massive attack coming from all sides here. Going to try and follow this all across the way. We do have a single squad of riflemen in this building trying to hold on their own, but definitely getting picked off here uh, by this Tiger. Uh, massive infantry incursion here in the center, backed up by an anti-tank gun. That is looking really good. Looks like Krypton was able to force ProPipe out of the middle once again. So uh, kind of an all-fronts retreat going on for ProPipe right now. Very wounded rifleman squads left over here on the left, just kind of capping away here. Another squad just hanging out in this building. Uh, this squad hopefully will move on out and try and cap this strategic point. But it looks like, once again, control over the center going back to Krypton. So 436 points to 224 for ProPipe. So, Krypton getting his anti-tank on way up front in the center here. That's not a bad idea, given that there is a bad-looking tank here in the middle. This tank, by the way, did get its uh, engine damaged. And no, he's moving up just a little bit too close here. Armor-piercing rounds activated for Krypton. Krypton picks off the Tiger. That is not good at all. Tiger goes down. Uh, there is really nothing left at this point. The Stug was wrecked during the middle of that. So, uh, pretty much that entire thing was reset. Not wasting any time whatsoever. It looks like Pro Pipe is just going to go ahead and harvest some munitions out of that tank. Uh, and meanwhile, it looks like Johnny Krypton is still continuing to get destroyed by these snipers. Uh, let's take a look at these guys. We got 7 kills, 33 kills, and 19 kills. These are really, really mean snipers here. Look at, oh my, look at those snipers. Oh, I'm sorry to keep harping on the snipers, but it's just amazing. Look how much damage they're doing right there. That is not good. These guys can barely get away from them without all getting picked off here. Snipers just picking off squads left and right. Uh, these guys are now moving on in. Uh, looks like during that time, by the way, I totally missed it during all of that frontal assault here, but uh, Krypton did lose his, front, uh, his frontal barracks there. So uh, we do have another barracks up in the back of course because he he has been upgrading browning automatic rifles and stuff but now it just means he needs to come in from a much further distance back there so uh off map reinforcements these are still uh left over from his off map reinforcements all just kind of charging on in uh really good late game ability there to give you a huge uh infantry advantage you can see uh with all the bazookas and stuff good anti-armor uh, these guys definitely have a little buff from having popped out of camouflage, but moving up and realizing they kind of have to back off, you can see that these riflemen are just getting annihilated. I mean, the combination of snipers and everything else really, really wrecking him there. Um, artillery strike would, of course, be very lovely. 
Uh, but I think these guys are going to manage to cap the century, and it's going to go back to Pro Pipe once again. Yes, single squad of uh, Pioneers, they're able to take care of that. So, uh, we do have the option of Engineer Rifleman. Uh, that could be kind of useful on this map. This is a campy map. Engineer Rifleman, of course, can build uh, howitzers and things like that. So, uh, I, I could definitely see a howitzer being useful here in terms of just kind of constantly wrecking this area. Uh, but we'll have to see if he chooses to do that or not. But we do have some camouflage riflemen out here in the center and just kind of a lot of troops spread out all over the place. Um, just kind of everybody's posturing a little bit at the moment here. But uh, certainly the advantage is up for Pro Pipe for the time being until another large attack comes for Krypton. Uh, Krypton, by the way, let's take a look at his army here. Very beat up at the moment here. Three riflemen squads, uh, four engineer squads. Uh, oh, engineer riflemen are in fact on the field right now with one guy left. So uh, that is a possibility. Uh, these guys just getting annihilated. It looks like, oh, that was perhaps our, our forward scouting squad of uh, riflemen there just getting revealed by these stormtroopers and absolutely sniped to death. Uh, these snipers are ridiculous. I'm sure Johnny Krypton shared such a sen sentiment there. Um, but we'll take a look here. He is really in some trouble here in his base. Perhaps he's going to save up, try and get another off-map reinforcements. That cooldown is available to him. Yes, he looks like he's firing off his off-map reinforcements. You can see here, got a big old blob here of three rifleman squads, two uh, bazooka-wielding engineer squads. So that's not a bad-looking blob there. Uh, we'll see if he's going to reinforce any of these squads. He doesn't really have enough money. Uh, I am worried about these engineer riflemen, though. Those guys could, of course, be very useful, but uh, for the time being, they're out of it. Uh, and right now, not really missing a beat at all. It looks like ProPipe is moving all the way up. ProPipe, by the way, during that time, capping the third victory point right now. It looks like these engineers trying to salvage a little bit of munitions. Uh, and now we have a large, large infantry attack coming into the center. So uh, one thing I'd love to see him do, uh, I'd love to see Krypton just peel one guy off here and cap that point because he really does st start needing to reconnect his territory. These snipers are just firing away like crazy. Uh, it looks like he's just trying to brute force rush the snipers. Uh, all three of the snipers here retreating at the same time. Uh, but the riflemen just peeling off to fire at the snipers just in time uh, for the stormtroopers to reveal themselves. Stormtroopers being very deadly in close combat, uh, especially against a lot of wounded riflemen. Uh, just a bloodbath here right now. It looks like everybody's taking a lot of casualties. Uh, two stormtroopers left in each squad. Uh, one of them retreating. Uh, the other squad also retreating now. Uh, single pioneer just still stuck in the center here. Not really even sure what he's doing. Just trying to keep the fire on there. It looks like a little flamethrower pioneer right now doing some damage, trying to pick off some wounded units. Uh, taking a single casualty, retreating away now. Just an utter, utter bloodbath right now. Everybody losing a ton of units, uh, continuing to fire, picking up a bazooka of all things. Uh, and it looks like that guy's, he could have actually even be left behind. Uh, looks like maybe ProPipe didn't even notice that guy was left there. Yes, just in time noticed him, but it was too late. Uh, so, uh, Krypton just through sheer force of will, able to take the center once again. Uh, total, absolutely attrition style warfare here. And uh, I'm not just making a joke because he is an infantry commander. However, he does not have the attrition ability. Uh, but literally, attrition style warfare here. Just force of numbers and bodies just kind of running through and taking over it. But, but, oh, just in time. Oh, and Pro Pipe couldn't have asked for a better roll on his heavy armor support. Not only did he get a Tiger, but he also got an Ostwin. And this is interesting here. He is the Ostwin peeling off and taking care of the right hand flank while his Tiger goes towards the central area. Uh, obviously, he saw that some of his territory is being capped by wounded squads and wanted this Ostwin to pick them off. Just a couple of lucky shots might finish off this squad. Yes, the Ostwin just coming in out of nowhere, getting five kills and just keeping on going here. Really, really taking care of this wounded flank. Uh, we might see a sticky bomb, but honestly, um, that's not looking too good for uh, Krypton here. So, uh, meanwhile, in the center, uh, we do have this Tiger. Wow, this Tiger, it looks like, ran over a landmine instantly. Uh, he's got... He's immobilized, and his uh, armor is really wrecked here. So uh, this Tiger is not doing so well here. His engine is wrecked, and he is immobilized. You can see the tank treads uh, just kind of laying on the ground here. I always like that effect. So, um, you know, once again, uh, you know, it's kind of kind of going both ways here. It looks like damaged engine here with some bazooka rounds. Uh, oh, boy, this Oswin could be picked off. He took a really wide tack coming through, but everybody, everybody has a bazooka. Bazooka's on all directions. Main gun destroyed, rear armor hits everywhere, and there goes the Oswin. Uh, getting vet too, by the way, from this little squad of engineers. Uh, this Tiger is certainly still in the game. Uh, you know, he, he's very healthy and his gun still works, uh, but he's in some serious trouble here if an anti-tank gun rolls up or anything like that. Uh, these guys grabbing a bazooka. Oh, firing away point blank though. Uh, going to try and use that bazooka getting around behind this tank maybe, but it doesn't matter. The stormtroopers have shown up just in time to be able to support that tank. This immobilized tank right now is just firing at any targets he can find. 
Uh, the stormtroopers are trying their best to hold off anybody else who could be threatening that tank. An entire building of riflemen goes down to Panzer Shrek fire and machine gun fire. That's not looking too good there. Tiger even killing off the remains of a squad there. A single squad member was left. Really, really brutal, brutal uh, death going on here. Uh, looks like uh, this is not actually a forward barracks. I thought it was for half a second there. Uh, but Johnny Krypton, man, he has got some serious trouble here. Very, very wounded squads. Very healthy squads here, even though this is a wounded tank. The tank is now getting repaired by these two squads of, of uh, pioneers here for Pro Pipe. So uh, stuff is looking kind of tricky here. One squad left, of, one guy left in the squad of riflemen having to retreat. Uh, not even retreating, just kind of going into a building. That seems risky. Uh, he's really been losing a lot of squads lately. He cannot risk losing another one. Uh, I'm just going to try and keep track of all sides of this action here because I want to see if, if this guy makes it out of here alive because he is under a lot of fire. First sniper round bounces off the building. No, second sniper gets him. So that squad goes down. Uh, looks like our stormtroopers here are just kind of playing cleanup duty, making sure they grab all of these points. Uh, two kills here. Uh, 26 kills on that guy. I'm not sure what happened to our other sniper. Let me take a look around and see if I can find him. But I think I think our hero with 33 kills from earlier may have been killed. Uh, let's see. We got some pioneers here reinforcing. And uh, that's about it. I am surprised to see that Pro Pipe really has only gone for snipers, pioneers, stormtroopers, and uh, his heavy armor support. Seems like a pretty good combo. Uh, he's got all of his bases covered. There's really not a lot of weaknesses in his attack. Uh, infantry is perhaps going to be a little hard-headed here. Um... Johnny Krypton trying his best just to sort of brute force this with infantry. Uh, definitely an infantry commander is, is someone who can pull that off if anyone can. Uh, but it's looking really brutal for him at the moment. Uh, these guys getting revealed by the squad of uh, stormtroopers there. Stormtroopers firing away. And you can just see that these snipers are just kind of just a, sh a firing squad right now. Uh, picking guys off left and right. It looks like getting a couple of misses there because they were on the retreat. Uh, but 28 kills, 4 kills here. Uh, that's looking quite, quite brutal at the moment. Uh, Pro Pipe now moving on in, knowing that those troops are retreating. Uh, looks like he's charging on in with everybody. These stormtroopers going to kind of back up these pioneers who are likely going to try and... Oh, uh, looks like they're going to opt to salvage while the stormtroopers try and take out the central uh, central victory point there. So uh, currently threatening a three cap. We've got 314 points right now for Johnny Krypton. Uh, that is, of course, Pi, one of my favorite numbers. Um, 